Hi, this is Tony Lin. Oh, welcome to my video. Have you been wondering after you drink the Cool A, how long will these uh, nRNA uh, last inside your body? According to the CDC, these nRNA will only last for a couple of days, and uh, and yourself will get rid of the nRNA. Let me share you this fact from the CDC official website. Also, I'll include a link for you so you can see the fact from the CDC. So here it says a fact about the nRNA QA. The nRNA and the spike protein don't last long in the body. And here it says our cells break down the nRNA and get rid of it within a few days after drinking the Kuwait. However, this January, uh, Stanford published a study. According to this uh, Stanford's uh, study, the nRNA will persist inside the Kuwait drinker's body for around two months. That is obviously a uh, very different than what CDC says. The CDC says just a couple of days, but uh, Stanford says uh, they observe the nRNA uh, persist for two months. So one of them must be wrong. And uh, let us uh, take a look of this uh, Stanford study. So uh, this is the Stanford study and uh, from the cell.com. I'll include the link for you in case you want to read this study yourself. So first, uh, let me share the title with you. The immune imprinting breath of variant recognition and the germinal center's response in human infection and cool A. So uh, here is the highlight I want to share with you. Uh, cool A spike antigen and nRNA persist for weeks in lymph node germinal centers. Uh, let me share a little bit de more detail about this. So here it says a historical analysis of draining lymph node shows marked impairment of germinal centers in severe patient compared with uh, nRNA QA. Higher quantities and persistence of spike antigen accumulated in the germinal centers of nRNA drinkers and detectable QARNA in germinal centers for up to two months post second bottle. According to this study, they did comparison of between the people who drank the two bottle of the QA and a severe patient. They found the spike antigen was higher in quantity and more persistence compared to the people who have a severe disease. That is quite strange yeah, because uh, uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like uh, this QA uh, co cause a more severe response uh, compared to the severe patient. And also uh, they observe the RNA in germinal centers for up to two months. That is uh, very different than what CDC says. Of course, uh, we know CDC will never be wrong. So if they will never be wrong, then something must be wrong with this Stanford study. So leave comment below and let me know what you think. And uh, if you think uh, today's uh, video is important, uh, please hit the like button and share this video with more people. Thank you for watching my video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.